Yeah, I heard that my name is a problem, so you can call me Alex. <laughs> Alex? <laughs> Why Alex? It's my second name, the okay. A. Okay. Uh, I will. I, I want to talk about things that go bump and grind in the night. The scary things about the internet, but you found the other side. I will tell you where I work, where I work, but it will be later. Uh, the first, I have a question for you. Who was involved in an actual accident? Because Haklu is mostly about hacks, but who had an accident? Please raise your hand. One, four, five, six, seven. Okay, not too much. Everybody is a security researcher, yes? Okay. And who, of those guys and girls who were, were in, the, in the incident, who reported it to the authorities? I don't see anybody. Why? One. And what did the authorities say? Why? What nothing? Who, who did you report it to? Ah, to IT, okay. So IT did nothing. Okay, it's, it's a pity. So now I tell you where I work. I work in Polish National Cyber Security Center and we are the people that incidents get reported to. And I want to tell, to tell you about what kind of incidents we hear about and why should you report the incidents to any, to any authority that there is available. Like in, in the, your case, probably it should be the police or somebody. I don't know who, how it works where you, where you work. Because uh, we are on the other end of the whole hacking thing. We are the cyber firefighters that came, came, come to, to put out the fire and see what can be done afterwards. And this is the kinds of fires we can see this. Uh, uh, it is from our incident reports that we received uh, through, throughout this year. This is first quarter. Most of the uh, most of the reports we get uh, is phishing. The silver bar is uh, reports, and we try as every every report and then uh, ag aggregate them into incidents. Uh, sometimes an incident is reported many times. Sometimes it, there is only one report of an incident. Sometimes we learn about the incident from the Twitter or press or TV, and then we have to investigate it. And the red bar is number of actual incidents uh, from that we uh, aggregated from the reports. And as you see, the, the most incidents are about phishing, and the second most incidents are about malware. There is another classification that is not on this slide because we are in the process of uh, deploying the NIS directive, European directive, who, who knows what this is? Okay, and we, uh, we must aggregate the incidents into in NIS sectors, basically what kind of uh, victim the, was in this incident, and most of the phishing and malware incidents are in financial sectors, financial banking. This is, uh, this is quite important because this is, a co this is a constant. Always there is most of malware and phishing. And everything else throughout DDoS hacking, uh, vulnerability reports, it is uh, far third, fourth time. There is, uh, spam is on a decline, which is, which is a good thing. I know. I only have four slides more. And this is the third quarter. Again, the, the, this is the same. The, almost the same pattern. And this is what I want to tell you. This is aggregate. Uh, the left, uh, three left bars are incidents. The right three bars of every type of uh, incident is reports. Phishing, malware, spam, and uh, this is the first three. So my message to you is when you are des designing a defense, solve phishing. If you solve phishing, you will, sell, uh, will solve a lot of problems with internet security that is seen from the, uh, from the big picture. As I said, I didn't say that, our, our job is to provide the big picture. We are uh, watching what's happening in Poland's net networks. Our task is to do. If you want to solve the internet security problem first, solve phishing. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. <laughs>